process. So we come to the first task, which is 25.1, create a new company. So we assume the management has announced the following decision before year end process, which is EA form shall be issued to all employees in January. Unused annually shall be brought forward to the following year, which is maximum five days, and should unused or annual leave more than five days, excessive days should be converted to paid leave in January payroll. So now let's come to the first task 25.1, which is create new company. So we were still using the learning ACCP. So under this learning ACCP, we just click on the create new company. The subscription was still the same subscription, but the company name we enter is one two three four Y E P N by your name, and then registration number we enter one two three four one two three four Y E country Malaysia. But for the payroll year, we have to select is last year. Why? Because we want to show you how you want to do the year end process and for your information only at the end of the year our programmer will update on the new year for the next year so in order to show you the result of year end process we have to assume that we want to do the year end process for 2019 and then we click on next this one we will still use the default value copy from another company let's say for the previous company you already have all the leave tie employee groups everything you can copy but we assume for this chapter we want to use all the default one so we just click on save company name already exists because i already tried to using this company so what i can do i can change the registration number a company name and then click on next and try to save and company 12345 YEP created successfully click on continue automatic system will bring to the payroll portal and automatic the wizard will appear also so for the wizard you may either click on close or skip but if you click on close if you go back to the subscriber portal then you enter again to the payroll portal the system will keep asking you all this question through wizard so in order to avoid this wizard to appear again you have to click on skip are you sure you want to skip for company profile yes so you have to click on skip one by one from company profile until it complete so we click on skip again yes skip yes we just skip for all and for the last one you click on close don't run the payroll process you just click on close so we have done created a new company by the name of 1234 YEP so if you want to change the company you can always change the company from 1234 YEP to 1234 the previous company so we have done created a new company